What's up guys, I'm super excited today because we finally got something in from Mode Carbon. We're gonna do some N4 content. I know it's been a while. I'm excited about it to show you what this is. So let me uh, go ahead and open up the box and check it out. Finally, here it is. See, it just gets held on with double-sided tape. We're gonna take it down to the car. We're gonna put it on. So the first thing you want to do before you get started is you want to make sure your trunk surface is as clean and dry as possible. So we took care of that yesterday. And you don't really want to do this unless the temperature is over 55, 60 degrees. Uh, you want to make sure the tape sticks properly. So now we've got the surface prepped, we're ready to install the spoiler. All right, so you can see the weave on the roof matches the carbon on the spoiler perfectly so mode carbon did an excellent job of that and also that's a little hard to see but it matches the weave on the mirrors as well we're just going to set this on here real quick see how it fits Looks like it lines up pretty good. Yeah, that's gonna look sweet. All right, so now we got the spoiler lined up on the car. It looks like we got a about an eighth inch gap on the same side, on both sides here. And you see the grooves line up with the grooves in the trunk perfectly. So I think we're ready to start peeling some tape and start putting it on. All right, how you wanna start this process is you wanna peel back the two pieces of tape about two inches on the one side. You don't think it else, it helps a lot. Looks good. Okay. All right, so grab the tape. 
Is you're going to apply pressure while your assistant removes the tape. Not too much pressure. Tape backing ripped as we were pulling it off, so we're going to try to start it on the other side and remove it. So apparently I was applying too much pressure as she was removing the tape, so make sure you don't do what I did. All right, so we're going to let it sit for about an hour or so like this, and then we're going to peel the painter's tape off and see what it looks like. All right, guys, so we had the tape on here for actually about three hours now, so we're going to go ahead and peel this off. You definitely don't want to use anything super sticky because that could potentially pull the spoiler back off, so you always want to use painter's tape when you're doing any kind of job like this. All right, now that I got all the tape off, I'm gonna back the car out. Now it's stopped raining, so we'll check it out outside. So what do you guys think? I think it looks awesome. I went with the uh, mode carbon over the factory M performance spoiler because the mode carbon one actually sticks up a little higher. Um, the M performance one was a little more subtle and I kind of wanted it to stick out seeing how it's a gray car and the carbon fiber wouldn't really pop against the gray paint, but I really like the way it come out. So last week I actually had a subscriber point out to me that this temporary tag had expired. I thought it was good till the end of the month. So we're gonna go ahead and take care, take care of that issue right now. And then I just have to, uh, we're gonna have to take it to the Ford dealer and put some inspection sticker in on it uh, next week. All right, so officially we got a license plate on the car. All right, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're interested in Mode Carbon products, I actually have a discount code for you all. It's DIME, D-I-M-E. So if you go on their website and you purchase something and you go into where it says promo code, you type in D-I-M-E for 10% off. Uh, like I said, the spoiler turned out really sweet. It matches you know, the carpet weave on the car perfectly, but they make products for all types of makes and models. So be sure to go to modecarbon.com and check out their products. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for checking out my channel.